Hi, it's Jody Evans from the Joy Love Bus. That's the joylovebus.com, the Joy Love Bus YouTube channel, the Joy Love Bus Facebook group. <sighs> I can't believe how much has happened. July 5th. July 5th, I joined a group on Facebook started by a man named Kyle Cease. And what this man is doing in his own life is transforming himself and sharing it publicly. He is shining a flashlight on a path to finding yourself and your own way of being. And every day I watch his videos, I go back and read parts of his book over again. I'm still working through all the exercises. And the change in myself since July 5th has been absolutely amazing. I got on his group and I made a video on July 7th. I had some really hard stuff coming up. I made a video just to introduce myself and all my heart just started pouring out. And it's so personal I can't post it yet to YouTube. My first five transformational videos, actually I think number four has made it on there now, but one through three and number five have some really personal stuff that I am not ready to share publicly and openly yet. But I know they will come out because I'm about being real and I've been about being real my whole life. Today I have been crying for about the last hour or more. I just had to take an emotional coffee break because I'm so overwhelmed. What I have learned since July 7th, when I hit record, and then I had the courage to post it. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. One thought that's been coming to me a lot for the last two days, almost 10 years ago, I think I remember what apartment I lived in, so maybe nine years ago, you know, reality TV show was real big and Oprah did a series about giving money away. She wanted people to watch every week as a bunch of contenders came up with ways they had different challenges every week. It was, here's how much money you have. Here's what you have to do with it. Here are the rules. Now go be creative within these rules and give this money away. And whoever can make it the biggest impact, giving away everything would be the, the winners for the week. You know, and every week, like one, one was eliminated. And every week on Sunday nights, I sat there with my children and I watched that show and I kept telling them that I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that someday. And at the time, I was really broke. Like, really broke. It was a struggle to make rent and keep the lights on. And we were in a hard place. I had just gotten back into management at the company I'm leaving right now got us our first apartment after my second divorce and it was rough but it was ours we painted that living room lime green <laughs> who else would have a lime green living room right oh I knew this was gonna happen <laughs> anyway we watched that show every week and every week I would look at my kids and I would say we're gonna do that we're gonna just spend we're going to get to that point where we can and we're going to do that. We're going to spend the rest of our lives just giving. Because it was so good to watch. It felt so good. And there's things I still remember from that show. One week they had $100 bills and they couldn't give more than $500 to any one person. But they had to give it all away as fast as they could. They had like a 24 hour time period or so many hours and they had to give all the money away with the biggest impact to the most people and they couldn't give more than 500 a person. And the two that had the biggest impact on me, being that I was so broke at the time myself, one of the gentlemen 
went to a hospital in a low-income area and he went to the newborn baby maternity ward and he went to these parents that had no money and just had a baby and he went I can still see him standing by the bedside in the hospital counting up five hundred five one hundred dollar bills and I remember thinking how much that could have changed my life when I had one of those kids when we were so broke and another one he went to Best Buy and he got TVs and computers and he got people with trucks to meet him at the Best Buy like he called everyone he knew and he said come help me now I only have a short amount of time and I got to give all this away as fast as I can and he used the money to buy TVs and computers and he went to a low-income neighborhood and knocked on strangers doors where he saw kids and he just said here and he was only allowed to do like so much per person so he asked how many people are in your house and when he found out how big the family was, he knew how much he could give them. And he started giving them computers and TVs to these people that had nothing. And now their kids could have computers for school. And my heart wants to do that so bad. I have visions of getting on my bus and just taking donations from everybody who wants to be a part of it. And making videos of doing stuff like that and saying, look what we did. I just want to give everything to everybody and I want to hug them all and I just want to have discernment of course I've learned a lot of hard lessons before this point I have learned you can't help people who won't help themselves that's very important and oh, man I think about all the things I've done in my life that have brought me here to this point I think about that I've been through three divorces and I've had times where I couldn't live with my children. I've had times where I had one child move away out of state with their dad. I think about how I'm a biological grandmother to a grandchild that's not in my family. I have a son who's a single dad. I've been through so many things in my life and when they happen they didn't make any sense. And here in August of 2017 I know they were preparing me so that I could help more people. And I'm so ready, I'm so ready. I wanna spend the rest of my life being a nomad <laughs> and just giving. I want everyone on the planet to know how beautiful they are. And I want everyone on the planet to know that they're worthy and they're valuable and they have stuff to offer. And I need to make sure that I know everyone has their own path but I need in here to know that I'm putting out every day everything I can so that the people who are ready to receive it will get the message hey you know what we want your art we want your books we want your music we want your your experience with this and your experience with that and and we all need it I learned years ago I came from a family where we don't talk about stuff. We don't talk about our personal business out in public. And it leaves you feeling very alone when you're grown up and you're going through stuff and you don't feel like you can talk to somebody about it. And I remember one time I was going to Jenny Craig years ago and, and I met the woman who ran that particular office. And she, she was in her 30s, she's barely 30 and just had a hysterectomy. And it came up in conversation and I said, oh, I had one at 32. And she said, really? And we started talking because at that time, I don't know if it's any better now, but in what, 2002, there were not resources even online readily available for people who were instantly into menopause. There were tons of stuff just coming out at the time where it was starting to be okay to talk about menopause in public, but there were no resources for someone who was 30 something and one day was a perfectly functioning, reproductive, reproducing human and suddenly in menopause. And she felt so alone. And I stood there and had a long conversation with her. And by the time we were done, we were both crying and we're hugging each other. And she felt like 50 pounds of weight came off because I wasn't afraid to talk about it in public with a stranger. 
And that was huge. And it shifted my awareness so bad. And it's turned me into this person that's not afraid to talk about my shit. Because I know that no matter what you're going through, there is somebody else out there going through it too. And all you need to do is hear that and you will start to feel better. And I've always made it my mission to be open. Gosh, this video went nowhere I thought it would go. Probably have to make another one. <laughs> I get freaked out when it hits 10 minutes. <laughs> Anyway, this is just a little bit of what I'm about and how I got here. But I cannot believe the change in me since July 7th when I hit that first video. It, it snowballs. It snowballs. You just stop being afraid and you put yourself out there and you say, you know what? Screw it. I'm tired of sitting here by myself. I'm ready to talk to someone else who understands and you make the video and you post it or you finally get the courage and forget regular Facebook. Nobody wants real on there. They say they do, but they don't. That's the last place you take your stuff. You find a safe space like EOL community or the Joy Love Bus group and you just start, just start. Yesterday I did a video about C's get degrees and the whole point of that was that we think everything has to be perfect or we see pretty people at the end of the journey or three quarters into the journey and we're like, oh, we're not there. No, we all had to be at the beginning. We all had to start. So just start, just do it, just do anything right now. If you are not ready to go public with your stuff, that's okay. Maybe that's not your calling, but maybe you're supposed to make art, or maybe you're supposed to write a book, or maybe you're supposed to sing. Do something that you know in your heart you're supposed to do. Just do it. And maybe a month from now, you'll be ready to share it with the world. Who knows? But just do it, please. Buy the paints. Pick up the guitar. Whatever it is, just do it. I promise. The minute you start and you just put it out in the universe, it just starts to snowball. And just stay with it. I had really good encouragement in the beginning to please stay with it. And it it's grown and grown and grown and grown and grown. I want to do a whole other video about all the synchronicities that have fallen into place. Every time I take one step further out of my comfort zone, five things come back to me. And it's so beautiful. But just do it. It's amazing. And now I'm, I'm going to be able to spend the rest of my life giving, sharing my heart, hugging everyone, letting them know that they're loved just for existing. I get to be a physical manifestation of that everywhere I go for the rest of my life. And it feels so good. And I want that good feeling for you. So whatever it is that's hiding in your heart, that wants to feel that, please go with it. Just do it. You deserve it. 